I'm gonna save you from making a huge mistake on your Japan trip. You do not wanna come to Japan during this week at all. So hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Allison. I've been living in Japan for five years now. And today I wanna to talk about the seasons, the holidays that you wanna avoid, that you wanna be here for. Cause even if you just look at a calendar, there's gonna be a lot of things that aren't on it and holidays that really aren't reflected on the calendar. So today let's go ahead and talk about it. So I wanna jump right in. I'm gonna go over the 2024 calendar. We are actually gonna start in 2023 for the New Year's holiday. So New Year's in Japan is treated basically the same way Christmas is in like America where I'm from and that like everything's closed. People stay at home with their families, that kind of thing. So from December 28th, I'd say is when companies start letting their employees off for New Year's vacation. And most places are gonna stay closed through the third and then reopen on the fourth. So it is basically a week that you're gonna have to be careful for. You're gonna have to look up hours for everything you do. A lot is closed. Seriously, especially in the countryside. But really the main days you wanna be most careful on are gonna be the 31st. Things are gonna start closing up earlier on this day usually. And then the first, a lot of things, they're just, they're gonna be closed. A lot of museums, things like that. So you really need to be careful with your planning. So I'd recommend coming during this holiday if you wanna like experience the New Year's holiday tradition, the atmosphere, visiting shrines, etc. Or <laughs> if you want to partake in what is kind of my specialty, Lucky Bags. So if you don't know, I've made a ton of videos about Lucky Bags. I've been on Japanese TV talking about Lucky Bags. I don't know how else to describe it other than like it's Japanese Black Friday. So a lot of malls and such will be open on the first for these, but some don't open until the second or even the third. You're gonna have to look it up. But in general in Tokyo, a lot do open on the first to sell these Lucky Bags. Sorry, retail employees. <laughs> yeah, 28th through 3rd be careful. I wouldn't really recommend it for your first trip unless you really like the lucky bags just cause the planning, it gets a lot more complicated. So this is really the first big holiday period I want you to be careful of. There is gonna be another even worse holiday period. But first I wanna talk about three day weekends. So here in January, we can see we have coming of age day. So these are like three day weekends. Always look these up in advance because these three day weekends are when a lot of Japanese people are gonna travel. Everything's gonna be more crowded even in the city, you know, shopping, etc. So if possible, I would really try to avoid them, but it's not like you need to totally replan your trip if it's on one of these days, it's fine. However, I would like to say a warning now in the beginning, everything in Japan on weekends, like everywhere, it's gonna be a lot more crowded than it will be on weekdays, especially for like things like museums, malls, famous temples, etc. Even restaurants, you should really try to make reservations for on the weekend if you can. It's just how it is. But yeah, basically we have winter in January and then in February, it's also winter. It's just kind of cold. If you wanna see snow, that's great, but it doesn't really snow much in Japan from like Tokyo going down south. So if you wanna see it, you need to go north. And then we are in February. We've got two three-day weekends, which is gonna be pretty awesome for me, not for you, because I work here. But one thing I want to mention about February is if you want to see cherry blossoms, there is actually one type called Kawazu Sakura, which does start blooming in February towards the end, middle end, at least in Tokyo. Flowers and things, they're very volatile. So you need to look up a calendar like a month in advance, basically of your trip to see what is probably going to be blooming during your time. If you want to check out cherry blossoms or tulips or sunflowers, anything. There are these calendars out there, especially for cherry blossoms. People are really into them. And in general, my main dates I'm gonna say are gonna be for Tokyo and South. It's basically kind of all the same, but the farther North you go, especially to Hokkaido, the flower dates, they're gonna be totally different. So for example, now in March, we are in cherry blossom season. Yes, it starts in March. I know in anime, it kind of looks like April, but because of climate, change. It is now basically mid-March in Tokyo where the most famous variety of cherry blossoms, the Solme Yoshinos, start to bloom. So in these blooming periods, I would like to note there's going to be basically the beginning, the middle, and the end. You want to be here for the middle if you can. This is the full bloom. They're going to look really good. Again, please look up a cherry blossom calendar. I can't tell you the exact dates right now because they, they really change every year. But I think this past year, the full bloom period was about March mm, 20th or so for reference in the Tokyo area. And then I think they basically all fall off the trees by April. They're really only bloom for like two weeks. So be careful. However, like in Hokkaido and such, they're not gonna actually start blooming until much later, until sometime around like mid-April or even May, I think. So if you're willing to travel to see them, 
you can do it, probably. <laughs> but yeah, basically spring, I think is probably, it's the most popular time of year to visit Japan. And it's for a good reason. The weather's quite nice. The cherry blossoms really are beautiful. And I do recommend it despite it might be a little more crowded. Just make your reservations for hotels in a little bit earlier than you otherwise would, and you should be okay. But yeah, basically from mid-March to mid-end of April is what I'd recommend. And as you can see, no three-day holidays in April for most of it until we hit second worst time of year, no, the most worst, the worst time of year to visit Japan, a little week called Golden Week. So see, this is not really reflected in the calendar accurately like it is, but it's not because you see here from Showa Day on the 29th until the sixth Children's Day, this is Golden Week. So even though there is a break in holidays here, most people take it off or companies just give it off. You have the worst week to travel in Japan. <laughs> it's crazy, it's so expensive, seriously, hotels, airfare, trains, they're gonna be a lot of money and they're gonna book out really fast, like sometimes months in advance. And everywhere you go is gonna be super crowded. Kyoto, forget it, it's gonna be insane. Just any kind of tourist destination, it's gonna be a lot of people. Even Tokyo will be a lot, a lot of people. So really, whatever you do, I really would not travel to Japan on this week if you can help it, just because you're gonna be competing with basically the whole country of Japan for domestic tourism, in addition to the international tourists that are already coming. Like, I, I cannot emphasize enough how difficult it is to travel, especially on trains. You have to book the bullet trains like a month in advance, at least. It's wild. The rest of May, however, after that, it's pretty good. It's fine, you can come. Uh, hydrangeas do start around end of May and those will bloom until about mid end of June. However, June is the start of rainy season in Japan. So it's, it's just gonna rain a lot more. It's not ideal, but it is better than what is to come in my opinion. <laughs> but it just, it depends what you wanna do. It depends if you like the rain or not. But yeah, do expect that. And then June is basically the transition from spring into summer, which really is gonna start like in full force from July. So as rainy season ends, the sun comes out and it is hot. <laughs> I am from Florida, born and raised, it's hot. It's about the same, but it's worse because uh, especially in Tokyo, it's all concrete. You're probably not gonna be in a car with AC. You're gonna be walking in the sun and there's not a lot of shade. There's not a lot of trees in cities here. So honestly, it feels much worse to me. The humidity is very high, especially from August-ish. Summer, I, I wouldn't recommend visiting, really. The only re really redeemable thing about coming here in the summer is to see summer festivals, which I just made a whole video on summer. So just go watch that for more. But yeah, summer festivals are a huge deal here and the fireworks festivals. There's like a festival like almost every day in Tokyo from like the end of July to mid-August. However, what a lot of people don't realize is that festivals are actually year round. Like you can find festivals in almost every week somewhere in Japan. Now the main other times to find festivals outside of summer are gonna be around the spring equinox and then the autumn one or even later in autumn really there's not that many in winter there are some especially up north but like spring fall there are festivals you can look them up the takayama one for example very famous very nice but moving on august it's hot it's hot it's hot i don't recommend it september honestly it's still hot until maybe the end of September, mid-September, depends on the year. But what you wanna be careful about in September is there's also a holiday called Silver Week, inspired by May's Golden Week. So what Silver Week is, is as you can see, it's two back-to-back three-day weekends. It is not nearly as bad as Golden Week, nowhere near it to me. If possible, don't come here in this time, which is from about the 14th until the 23rd, but it's not the end of the world. Just be careful on the three day weekends. It'll be more crowded everywhere. But like people don't usually take off these four days as much. And then we are in October. Finally, we're in fall. Finally, the weather is tolerable again. I personally really like October. I think the Halloween decorations are kind of fun in Tokyo. I think October is a perfectly fine time of year to visit. And we've got the fall food, which is very good to me. However, the fall leaves are not really gonna start. It depends again on the year and the place, but in general, you're just gonna start seeing them at the very end of October in Tokyo. And then they're kind of actually gonna be all the way through like Christmas. Honestly, November, early December, 
best time of year to see fall leaves in Tokyo. Again, differs. If you're coming in October and you want to see fall leaves, go up north as you know, winter starts earlier. There's basically like two big types of fall leaves here. There's momiji, which are like red leaves. And in Tokyo, I'd say these really peak in November. But then there's also ginkgo leaves, which are like really pretty yellow trees. And they're like, I love them. I've never seen one in America. And these are going to be at the very end of November in Tokyo. Again, please look up a calendar for the region you're going to be visiting because it, it varies. Personally, November, I think would be my favorite month to visit Japan outside of March because you have the fall leaves. The weather's quite nice to me. I think the temperature is also pretty good, probably around 15 degrees Celsius to 10, maybe. I don't know. I think November is just nice because November is also when they start the Christmas decorations and the illuminations, like they put lights all over Tokyo. It's very nice. As the years go by, the Christmas spirit gets like more and more intense here. Well, it's like commercial, but it's fun to look at and I like it. And the food is good. November, it's like fall themed and it's great. I like November. And then finally, we're back in December. It's gonna start getting kind of really cold towards the end of it, especially. But honestly, it's like fine up until New Year's if you wanna visit. So in Japan, like Christmas, as you can see, it's not a holiday, like you don't get work off from it or school or anything. It's just a day. It's actually like a date day. Uh, maybe more on that in December. But as you can see, there's like no three day weekends. You're gonna have decorations throughout the cities. And I think it's pretty good too. <laughs> basically up until New Year's. So that is my wrap up for the year, the season, some flowers. So in summary, when should you visit? Spring or fall, of course, but really I would try to time it with the cherry blossoms in late-ish March or with the fall leaves in November. Really the only main two times of year I don't think you should visit Japan at all would be Golden Week in late April, early May, and then New Year's from late December to early January. And summer, I don't like summer, it's not good. Come if you must, but there's better options. But I know, you know, kids are in school, work, etc. There's reasons, so. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments. Did you learn anything new? When are you planning to make your trip to Japan? If you have any other tips for other people, please write them down below as well. I'd love to hear them too. I'm sure I, I didn't cover every single thing, but these are the main ones. So please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more information about Japan and living here and traveling here. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye.